Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be talking about Quake Motion, which kind of gives motion to the camera very quickly, very simply. I would shake my camera right now, but I can't do it. And just with a few clicks, you kind of get this, this cool setting. So let's now go through the add-on. So this is one of the scenes from the animated short film Trackers, if you haven't seen it. There is a link in the description, go check it out. It's like 35, 40 seconds long, because there will be some spoilers. Now I'm gonna show you how this add-on works, and if you stay to the end, I'll show you some funny stuff. So at the moment, I've got the camera selected. I'm gonna press N to bring up the side panel. I've already got the add-on installed, and we're gonna start off with the bottom down here, the preset camera motion. Let's come in, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select maybe just stable camera, add preset, and then press play. You can see we've got a nice stable camera moving it around. Now to clear this preset down here, we actually need to delete the keyframe. And then we come in and let's go kind of a phone. And add preset, press play. Ugh. We know people that film like this. It is really annoying. <laughs> and let's go through one more really quick. Maybe just uh, the pan camera. Let's go add preset, press play. Now with the other option here, up here in the Quake Motion camera, we can do stable, mild, or extreme, and we can enable shake along the location or the rotation of the camera. Let's just click add and we'll check it out. So if I press play, you can see that there's some very strong shaking there. And obviously if we don't want it, we can press pause and clear motion. All hunky dory, you little ripper. So this next bit is the spoiler of the whole short film. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. 40 seconds, that's all it is. So with our camera selected, what we can do is we've got a train that comes in and collects them up. So we can come to the train point of pain. There we go. We can expand it, quake camera shake. And let's just give it a small one. Let's go add camera shake. And then when we press play, <laughs> So as you can see, that added a whole much more to the scene. I wish I had this add-on a week ago. The other thing we can do is set the motion to keyframes. So let me just quickly change that up to nine, six. There we go. And then I'm gonna to convert to keyframes. And now we've got that whole keyframe range of the camera. And then for instance, if I were to come in now and I just wanna change you know, this bit, let's just delete that. There we go. Well, obviously I've pretty much deleted the whole thing. Now, obviously we've got the camera follow object. That's very self-explanatory camera zoomer where it zooms in and out. And then we've also got the camera switcher so we can select our camera, switch camera. And then at this point here, we select this camera, camera switch. So if we go press play, that is pretty cool. That makes life a lot easier. Now, the one last thing that I was actually gonna show you guys is we can actually select objects to sway in the background. So if I come in and just select a few trees and then we come down here and we select in camera motion. Let's expand that default shake. We'll just change the stable and I'm just going to add that preset. And we can see that the actual tree in the background itself is actually moving. Looks like we actually have to do it individually, but now we go and I've got trees in motion. And there we have it, the Quake Motion add-on, very simply to use. Jump over to Blender Market, there is a link in the description. Go pick it up, go check it out. Thank you very much, and until next time,